We've all seen CPU usage indicators in Windows Task Manager or HTOP or whatever the Mac OS thingy is called, but I thought it'd be cool if it wasn't just a number on the screen, but represented physically somehow. And what better way to monitor a bunch of numbers than to have a bunch of analog meters? I have 14 of them to be exact. My desktop PC reports 12 CPU load averages, so I have one for each of those, and I added in a couple of extras for memory usage and swap space usage. I was originally planning to use these old AVO multimeters for this purpose. I have eight of them, which was enough for this project before I procrastinated it for so long that I had upgraded my computer. The problem is, they're huge and not as easy to add coloured lighting to. These little things are much more manageable. They're fairly cheap, only about £2.50 each. I got the 0-5mA displays, which I can drive directly from an Arduino using PWM through a 1K resistor. Uh, I did play around with the AVOs too, just for fun. The needle is much bouncier in the AVOs, so they aren't great at dealing with sudden changes. Of course, the 0-5mA scale that comes with the meters is not what I want, so I printed these custom scales for the various things that I wanted. 12 different CPU percent scales, all individually numbered, one for percentage of memory used, and another for percentage of swap space. It's fairly easy to add them in, the scales are printed onto these little metal plates, so I just printed my replacement scales onto sticker paper and stuck them over the top. If I was selling this as a complete product, then I'd probably get the scales custom printed by the manufacturer, since that would look much neater. For a one-off though, I'm very happy with this. I did consider making the memory and swap space meters use absolute scales, measured in gigabytes, but then it wouldn't be very future-proof. I could easily upgrade the memory or swap space in my system, and that would mean I'd need to replace the scale again. As you can see, I also added LEDs for a little more pizzazz. By chance, I had an addressable LED strip lying around that happened to have exactly the right spacing to get two LEDs under each display, with minimal spacing between the displays. I think the coloured lighting really adds a lot of charm. The electronics for this is really simple. There's an Arduino Mega in the back, along with a little power supply for the LEDs, and a big mess of wires connecting all the displays up. Most of the frame is laser cut and just slots together with these little cutouts and tabs. To make it really rigid, the main A-frame pieces are held together with some aluminium bars that I machined to length. It feels really strong, not like it's going to twist or bend at all. I think it looks quite neat under my monitor, just quietly working away, letting me see at a glance how hard I'm pushing my computer, and providing an entertaining display whenever I start compiling some large software project for the first time. That's exactly how I got these shots of all the CPUs going up to max usage. It's fun to be able to see at a glance if your build system is doing a good job of parallelizing compilation. If you enjoy silly projects like this one, consider subscribing. I've posted quite a few of my projects already, and I'm sure to keep posting more. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Just started editing the video. There's there's just one thing on the timeline in Blender, and uh, yeah, it seems unhappy. Something's stuck. Yep. I think it's broken.